So I'm quickly going to do a video on Unity 2D, specifically looking at the orthographic camera um, and the various settings. There seems to be a lot of confusion over the, the pixels per unit on the sprites as well as um, the orthographic size uh, and how best to use these to get a one-to-one -one ratio with your pixels on your default screen. Um, so we'll quickly, quickly set up a new project so we can have a look at this. So as you can see here, we've got a got a scene, um, nothing on it. As we've created it in 2D, we've already got an orthographic camera. Right, this five uh, seems to confuse people. What it is, it's the amount of vertical units, unity units, um, that there is above the center of the the screen, the camera, and then the same below. Um, so for the entire height of the screen, there's, there's twice as many as this number here. As you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five above, and then one, two, three, four, five below. Um, if we were to change this to, say, three, we'll now have three units. These are world units. So if you were to position a sprite at zero, zero, um, as my camera effectively is, it will appear here. If you put the Y position at one, it will be here, two, and three, and so on. So if I put this back to, to five, if I am now, I'll show you this, if I import a sprite um, and we drop it on our screen, if I position it at zero, zero, oops, we can see it here, but it's underneath our camera. If I put it at wire five, the center of it is, is as we say, at the top of the screen. Um, now, if we were to change the size to three, it would be off the screen, but if we were to bring this position down to three, it would be fine. So, that's how this number here relates to world coordinates, but how does that relate to the, to the actual pixels if we want uh, our graphics to appear as we actually drew them uh, for 2D things? Well, that comes down to the correlation between this height in world units and the actual height of your screen. Now, I'm using a 768. Um, if I go back to 5, we've got 10 world units over the entire screen and we've got 768 pixels. So that means 768 divided by 10, which obviously I can do in my head, but just to show you, is 76.8 pixels per world unit. Every one of these world units is 768 pixels. Now, at the moment it's 100 pixels per unit. Our sprite is 43 pixels high. Um, so if we were to say, as we said, each of these squares is about 76 pixels. Um, but here, this is this is talking about the pixels in the in the image to how many units of game of world uh, space that it uses. So if we were to convert it to forty three, our height's forty three. We're saying there's forty three pixels of this to a world unit. It should make it so that sprite covers, as you can see, vertically one entire square. Now, as we know, this isn't uh, this doesn't make it a one to one ratio because yes, we've we've now made it one to one with a world unit, not a screen pixel. What we need to do is use a calculation that gives us a nice round number to, to put in here, nice even number to put in here. So I find the best one is 760. In this instance, um, you can play around with different numbers. Um, if we have 768 pixels to a screen and we use 24 world units, this gives us a whole value of 32. So remember this is this 24 would be the entire height. This value here is just half of it. So if we put 12 in here, um, if I zoom out so you can see it again, we are now covering 24 units. And as we said, 768 divided by 24 is 32. So if we now make our sprite 32 pixels per unit, That now makes it an exact pixel per pixel ratio. So that is exactly as it was drawn. Um, so the key thing obviously is to remember this is how many pixels in the graphics will cover one square. Um, our 768 divided by 24, so 12 in this, 
means each square is worth 32. So this will give us the, the pixel resolution that we want. If we half this to 16, so every 16 pixels is one world unit, we'll effectively double our graphic. Um, the trouble is this is generally set at the start when you import the assets and you don't change it. This does make it a little awkward if you change your screen sizes. Um, but there are ways around that that we'll cover in a later date. So the important thing to remember is to ideally pick your, your screen resolution that you're going to work for, or one that works best for you. Work out the, the size of your orthographic protection so that we know how many units there are on screen. And we'll also make sure it's a nice number. So when you divide one by the other, you get a nice number for your pixels per unit for the sprite, and that means you'll get your pixel perfect sprites.